Hello cookbook friends and welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. My name is Katie and today I wanted to talk about Chetna's 30 Minute Indian. This is by Chetna McCann. You guys might recognize her from the Great British Bake Off show. I think she was in a uh, season four or not 14 but 2014's round of uh, contestants and I, I had to look her up again because it's just been a while and I remember I really, really adored her and her work. She's just got a very wonderful personality and whatnot. So I actually picked up this cookbook because of the cover, because it was just kind of unique and I, I wasn't really sure about it to be perfectly honest. So I had to look it up. I had to go dive into it and it's amazing, you guys. This is a really cool Indian cookbook and I really can't wait to cook from it. So let's just kind of dive right in. So the pictures are fantastic. I was pleasantly surprised and it's just very colorful and just really fun. So we have snacks to start, then we have fish and seafood, chicken, then we have vegetable curries and sabji which I'm not familiar with so I'm going to have to look that up. We have dal, then we go into bread, rice, and noodles, chutneys and sides, sweets, and then meal plans, which is very, like, super cool, especially if you want to make, like, a huge Indian feast. That's kind of my dream. I want to be able to do that. So, like I said, it's really beautiful in here. We get to learn more about her. She has a YouTube channel. She has all kinds of cool stuff. I'm going to make sure to post that down below so that you guys can check out more of her stuff. She's just a really phenomenal baker, chef, and everything. It's just amazing. So, one of my favorite parts about this cookbook, and most cookbooks actually when they do this, is at the beginning of each chapter, there's a list of all of the recipes you will find. This makes meal planning way easier in my opinion. So I really appreciate that she's done that. So let's look at the actual recipes. She has a crispy paneer cubes recipe that looks just delightful. There are cheesy potato balls, super good. And I don't know if you guys can see or notice that these recipes, I know these are just snacks for now. It might seem like a lot because they're taking up quite a bit of the page, but it's actually really easy. There's not a lot of ingredients and the directions are very clear, very concise. It's just really easy in general and I'm just looking forward to it. There's a chickpea and courgette parcels. I don't know what that is. They almost look like, I'm trying to remember, I can't have them technically, so like samosas it almost looks like. Ooh, these pictures are gorgeous. So now you can kind of see like a whole table scape, if you will, for if you wanted to do a whole meal plan. So we have peanut ha haddock curry. Never had haddock before. Then we go, ooh, this is a, let's see, a squid and menjout curry. Hold on. And that's right here. Wow, this looks beautiful. This is the butter chicken for those of us that, I mean, who doesn't love butter chicken? It's so good. We have korma style chicken curry. I have a feeling you can substitute a lot of these for vegetarian if you wanted to do like paneer or cauliflower, even eggplant, just kind of to change these meat recipes up if you wanted just something different. But she does have a great vegetarian section as well. Let me see if I can find it. Like she has a doll, so like um, her doll section is probably the biggest, the best section for that. We've got sweet and sour lentils. She has this uh, really interesting, it's called a beanie, or beanie stew curry. And again, you can see these are very super simple, straightforward recipes. And that is what this looks like here. Let's see, I'm going to move into, so we have the rice and the bread. We have cauliflower stuffed flatbread. There's a spiced layer of flatbread. That looks amazing. There's naan in here. Tamarind and sesame seed rice. So we go into more of kind of like the Indian stir, stir fries, if you will. 
upma vermicelli so i've not had noodle indian recipes before and i'm really looking forward to this this is really cool just fantastic just beautiful i'm going to show you a few of the dessert recipes because I, I i love dessert so we have a creamy saffron and nut dessert this looks really good these look fantastic. So this is the cashew nut sweets. I love how, like, they're little tiny. They would be great for, like, tea time and stuff. These are really amazing, and I can't believe you can make a lot of these in under 30 minutes. So she has a rose and pistachio cake with cardamom toffee sauce, which I'm, I'm already kind of drooling a little bit. And this is what that looks like. So just elegant and fantastic. So that's Chetna. Chetna's 30 Minute Indian, I was not expecting such a grand cookbook. Like, this is fantastic. I love it, and I, I actually have full faith that I could probably do all of these in 30 minutes and not sacrifice flavor. There's just a lot of cool meals in here, and I'm really looking forward to cooking from it. This is by Chetna Makan, so check her out. I'm going to have all of her stuff posted down below so you can really dive into her bakes and her cooking and whatnot. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe down below and leave a comment and review. We want to know what we're doing right, what kind of cookbooks you want us to look through. So make sure to do that for us. Also, if you want to join us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, that would be super awesome. We'd love to hear from you. We also do a blog and a podcast. We try to publish our podcast every Friday. So come check us out there at Cookbook Divas. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and a happy cooking!